Hi, lovely people. Let's solve for x, y. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Now, this. let's call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. My ink is... <laughs> okay, so from equation 1, so from 1, we can see that x squared plus x, y is equal to 28. Now, if we factorize x from here, if we say x bracket, x squared divided by x will give us x, and x y divided by x will give us y is equal to 28. And if we call this equation 3, all right? Now, from 2, that is from equation 2, we can see that y squared plus x y is equal to 21. Now, if we factorize y, which is what they have in common, we have y bracket y because when y squared is divided by y we have y right plus x y divided by y we have x is equal to 21 so let's call this equation 4 if this is the first time you have seen us please click on the subscription button turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our videos yes we upload videos daily so please turn in at your convenience to watch our new uploads and give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoying this video all right now let's move on so if we divide equation 3 by equation 4 so if we divide 3 divide 3 by 4 so if we do that we are going to have x bracket x plus y equals 28 divided by x bracket x sorry divided by y bracket y plus x which is same thing as x plus y then this will be divided by 21 okay so you notice that this we cancel this so what we now have is x over y is equal to 28 over 21 so x over y is equal to 28 is the same thing as 7 times 4 right so we have 7 multiplied by 4. And 21 is same thing as 7 times 3. So we have 7 multiplied by 3. Okay? So from here, we can see that x over y is equal to this. We cancel this 4 over 3. All right. Now, if we decide to make x the subject of the formula here, or y the subject of the formula, as the case may be. So let's make x the subject of the formula. If we cross multiply, we have... 3 multiplied by x is equal to 4 multiplied by y. Now, if we want to make x the subject of the formula, we are going to divide both sides by 3, right? So we have divided by 3, divided by 3. This we cancel this. We have x is equal to 4y over 3. Now, let's call this equation 5, okay? Now, if x is equal to 4y over 3, let's substitute this equation 5, into equation 2 okay so from 2 from 2 we have that y squared plus now we have plus x y so instead of us to write x we are going to substitute 4 y 4 y over 3 okay multiplied by y okay is equal to 21 now we have y squared plus 4 over 3 y squared as well all right, is equal to 21. Is equal to 21 times 3 will give us 63. Now, let me copy that here, okay? So, this is what we have. We have 3y squared plus 4y squared will give us 7y squared. So, we have 7y squared. I'm trying to write it somewhere that is visible. So, we have 7y squared is equal to 63. So, to get the value of y, we first of all divide both sides by 7. So we have 7y squared divided by 7 is equal to 63 divided by 7. This we cancel this, we have y squared is equal to 9. Okay, so to get the value of y, we take square root of both sides of this equation. So we have square root of y squared is equal to what? Square root of 9. Now this we cancel this and we have that y is plus or minus 3. So that means we have two cases here. Case 1 when y is equal to 3 and case 2 when y is equal to minus 3. So let's go with the first case when y is equal to plus 3. Okay, recall from here that 
x is equal to 4y over 3. So when y is equal to plus 3, which is same thing as 3, x will be equal to 4 bracket 3 divided by 3 according to equation 5. Now this we can see this, we have that x is equal to what? 4. So that means that when y is equal to 3, x is equal to 4. And if that is the case, so I'm going to leave this us. Let me write it somewhere. That x is equal to 4y divided by 3. Okay? So that I can clean this. Alright. So this simply means this simply means that y is equal to 3 when x is equal to 4. Therefore, x multiplied by y will be the same thing as 4 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 12. Now, this is our xy when y is equal to 3. Now, let's check when y is equal to minus 3, okay? So, we are going to have um, x will be equal to 4 brackets and y is minus 3 divided by 3, right? So, that means x is equal to this we divide this, we are left with minus 1. So minus 1 times 4 will give us minus 4. So that simply means that when y is equal to minus 3, x is equal to minus 4. Therefore, your xy at this point will be equal to minus 3 multiplied by minus 4. Or minus 4, sorry. Our x is minus 4. So minus 4 multiplied by minus 3. So that simply means that xy is still equal to 12 using the two cases that we have here. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and please like, comment, and share. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.